Hello. Are you the Messiah we're looking for or should we wait for another one? It seems that we are always looking for some sort of Messiah to save us, to save our organization. We can take the example of politics, that political parties and even people looking for this special individual, this man, this woman that will make our party win, that will inspire the people, that will create jobs like no one before. It could be sports. We're looking for that player, that coach that will bring our team to the highest owner that will make them win the championship. Church, the same. These days with the decline of membership in our congregations ac across Canada, across the nomination, congregations are often looking for this special minister that will be able to attract youth, that will fill the pews and increase the giving and walk on water, who knows? <laughs> It's this kind of, I don't know, looking for this magic, that that person have this magic, this charisma, this little something that will save everything. In the Gospel according to Matthew, in chapter 11, John the Baptist is in prison, and he sent some of his disciples to Jesus, to inquire about Jesus. And these disciples come to Jesus asking, are you the one who is to come or are we to wait for another? Basically, they want to know, are you just hype or are you the real deal? You know, people are talking about you. Um, can we put our hope, our aspiration, all our energy in you or you will be just a disappointment? Will you solve our problem? And once for all, you know, Jesus could have asked another question. They could have said, he could have said, yes, that's me. I'm the answer to your prayers. Me, 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 me. And from now on, you're going to listen to me and do exactly what I said. But that's not the, the answer Jesus gave. No, the text tells us, he says, go, to, go tell John what you hear and see. The blinds receive sight, the lame walk, the leopard are cleansed, the deaf hear, sorry, I need to read my note because that's a long list, the, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news brought to them. And notice here, there's no um, I am statement. It's not like I am the Messiah or I am the one who bring sight to the blind. I am the walk, the one that helped the lame walk. I am the one who bring the good news to the poor. No, that's that's not what Jesus does. What Jesus does is to point in the direction of something that is happening at that moment. And maybe we don't fully understand the concept of Messiah or what kind of Messiah Jesus was. Because the Messiah maybe is not the one who come and change everything forever. That solve all the problem by just snapping the finger. Messiah, even I would say the Messiah is not the one that make all those change possible. Messiah is maybe the one who point in the direction of what is good and valuable in our world. What we can do, what we are already doing. You know, Jesus 
invite us to change the way we look at things. Yes, yes, we can focus all our energy, what is wrong in our world, and, and, and especially during this time of the year, a few days, a few weeks before Christmas, and say, I don't have this, I cannot do that, there's war, and yes, we can do this. Or we can take time to acknowledge what is good, what we have, to name the blessing we already have, to name those who bring hope, peace, joy, and love in this world, to see what deserves to be celebrated. So that's maybe what we are called a few days before Christmas, a few days before the celebration of the birth of the infant Christ. Yes, celebrate. Celebrate what is good, celebrate what we have, say thank you, and not stop waiting for something magical that will fall from the sky, but keep doing what we're doing good. It means also to improve, that's nothing wrong but focusing on what is good and make it even better. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. I hope you're able to celebrate all the blessings you have in your life. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.